On Borom's tail, as the lunar whale sets off from the dragon's mouth towards a new moon, monsters suddenly pour out of the Devil's Road. Realizing the danger, the elder of Mysidia orders Porum to visit Mount Ordeals and find the exclusive, uh, reclusive Dragoon who once served Baron with pride. This is in the past. Well then, let us begin today's lesson. Yes, sir. White Mage Obsidia. Poor, um, kid form. It's interesting that she grew up to be a pink hair girl. This is Palum. Oh, yes. This happened at the end of the previous game. This is like the ending credits, actually, if I remember correctly. Oh, not again. Yep, he's out here. He's flirting with Leon Nora, I believe. Yep. So that apparently was Leon Nora. So there I was on the slopes of Mount Ordeal, facing down the fiery hordes when I cast an awesome blizzard and. Ba bow! Twack! Ow! How many times are you going to be late to training? The elder is really angry. How many times must I tell you the same thing before it sinks into that thick skull of yours? You have a great, or you have a deal of growing up to do if you ever plan to be the sort of mage Tella was. Tomorrow is a spell transcription for you. <laughs> Black Mage of Mycidia, Palum. I'm really surprised they didn't do voice acting in this. Oh, not again. Well, I guess because mainly it's uh, dialogue, so it'll be a lot of voice acting. You've only yourself to blame, you know? Forget this. I have enough of this stupid training. Runs away. Palum! What a troublesome one. Please, allow me to go after him, Elder. I have to drag him back before the elder gets any angrier. Uh, where would he have gone? Uh, Devil's Road sealed, so I can't go there. Have we seen him? Uh, um, let's just go to Mount Ardeos. I don't think he could have gotten very far. Let's see. So he's still in town somewhere, Try, probably crying or something stupid. Being a little baby. Maybe he's in the inn. But I'm gonna go over here to Weapon Shop. Oh, he's right here. Give it up, Palum. The Elder wants to see you. Tough for him. I'm not gonna start my training all over again. No way. So, <laughs> jeez. Oh, it's not hide and seek, but it's just hide and get the F over here. <laughs> Give it up, pal. The elder wants to see you. Tough for him. I'm not going to stop my training all over again. No way. No way. You're better than this, pal. I thought you wanted to be a great sage like Tella. Fine, you're right. You win. It's kind of bad when the female is more mature than the dude. But then again, they're both little kids. So, you look like you have something on your mind, boy. Look, elder, you may not be aware of this, but my skills have developed much more than you think. Palom, is that so? If there's nothing else for you or here for you to learn. Is that what you're trying to say? Come on, Elder. You know just as well as I do how powerful we really are. Hold your tongue, Palom. You think so too, right, Porum? Without us, Ciso would have never made it anywhere near Mount Ordeals. We've grown so much since the journey we took. Haven't you realized that, Elder? Hmm. I suppose you have a point. I know I do, because I'm going to become a sage, just like old man Tella. Tella, you say? Then you have a long way to go, Palom. Growth is not something gained on your own. 
It is a product of all the people you meet along the way, from Cecil and Tella to everyone else around you. I, I already know that, Elder. I don't need you to tell me. It is a simple thing to say, but I forbid you from leaving Mesidia. It is still too soon for you. Too soon? Well, when's it not going to be too soon? When you have truly understood the words I have spoken. Can I go out and travel the world once I do? Once you do, yes. Alright, I would be out here in a flash. See some of the others will be ready for me. Or better be ready for me. Alama. <sighs> Are you sure you meant to tell him that, Elder? Of course. The meetings and parting, er, partings one experiences in life help to strengthen itself. Yes, Elder. And I'm sure you would like to hit the road someday yourself. Uh, for him. I what? It is written on your face, plain as day. Oh. Flash forward. The vanished lunar whale. Poor Ms. Tickle. Several years later. On board. Yeah, I think. Oh, so it's not even present day yet. Haha! -ha, finally, I'm off on my quest to become a sage. What made you want to visit Kaipo first? Cause it's Tella Homeland, of course. What do you think? That's all. What do you mean that's all? Did you understand anything? Huh? The title of Sage is something to be obtained. It's something that's granted to you. Yeah, that's right. I knew that already. Then who do you think grants something like that to you? The Elder, right? Ink. No, the people of the world do. What? Nobody's going to call you a sage just because you've learned black and white magic. Yeah, you just be a red mage at that point. You have to throw away your own wishes and ambitions, Paolo, and learn to use your magic to benefit the whole world, not just yourself. Pfft, that goes without saying, poor um. Are you sure you know? Well, that's the way Tella was, wasn't it? You're right. Tella traveled around the world with the Elder himself long ago, just like we're doing right now. Wow, really? I knew it! Eventually, the Elder returned to Mesidia and devoted his life to protecting the world through his magic. Tella, meanwhile, continued his travels for years afterward, using his power for the good of all mankind. How long did he do that for? Oh, at least decades. Oof, that long? And at the end of his journey, he decided to settle down in Kaipo, where Anna was born. Huh, I didn't know that. Of course, it'll probably take longer for you than it did for him. Well, I'll give it a shot. I'm in this for the long haul. <laughs> nice. In for the long haul. Kaipo Docks. Isn't Kaipo the, uh, desert oasis place? Phew, finally. What are you complaining about? You slept practically the entire way. We have a long way to Kaipo, don't we? It's in the middle of the huge Dempsian desert in front of us. So we should rest up while we can, you know? A convenient excuse. <laughs> so you can just sleep the whole way? Save, cause that's a lot. Of <laughs> Look at Palom's face. Oh my gosh. That's smirk on his face. Oh, 
Palm's like... Well, pretty sure it's because we don't really use Palm that much. Because it's poor arm's tail, so that makes sense. Wow, it's Kaipo, we're here. What should we do first? Let's take it easy for now. But you just spent days resting on that ship. Oh, quit complaining. What's the big deal? So we're supposed to sleep at the end, so it's happening. My, you're still a young pair of travelers. Make sure you don't come down to desert fever, okay? Rumor has it that a ten legged beast lurks inside the underground waterway. Past the mist is closed, still closed off, you know. It's giving me a serious headache. That's where we found, uh, yeah. Rosa the one time. Hmm. You're awfully small for traveling so far away from home. Do take it easy while you're here. They say a girl who once fell ill here has become Queen of Baron. I'm sure she's a sight to behold nowadays. She was a pretty good sight to see back then too. You know she was uh, pixelated, but that's a different story altogether. Potion. Uh, I guess I just go to the inn, right? Pal wanted to rest. King of Dance to erect a graves for Tel and Nana right here in Kaipo. I'll probably have to... I think I want to look at those, actually. Yeah, shy. Oops. Welcome. So let's go look for those uh, tombstones. I'm pretty sure that's what they want us to look at. As long as we don't have any more war, I don't see why Kaipo can't become a great city like any other. Oh, you would... oh I see him. I guess my practicing, I guess practicing my synchronized swimming near those graves isn't very appropriate, is it? Here we go. Tell the great sage rests in the desert oasis together with his beloved daughter, Anna. That's so sad. The old man's grave. Well, don't just stand there. Offer your respects to him. Tella, may you be happy together with Anna for all eternity. And may you guide us with your infinite wisdom, especially Palum. He really needs it. Hey, old man. Guess it's been a while, hasn't it? Well, I'm finally here. I came to visit your homeland and everything. I hope you're watching over me, Tella. Because someday I'm going to be a sage, just like you. The antler meteor. <laughs> Palum, is this why you wanted to become a, come to Kripo? <laughs> Just thought I'd check up on the old man first, you know. Anna, daughter of the great and gentle sage, rests in this desert oasis surrounded by eternal love. I didn't realize Anna was here as well. Anna, the woman Edward loved with Olive's heart. She must have been a nice lady. Maybe kind of our, kind of like our mom. Anna, I witnessed in person the grace and profound love you possess within. May you rest in peace alongside Tella for all time. Sometimes I wonder if I too have a chance. A chance to become a woman like you. A woman who knew how to love more deeply than anyone else. I'm trying to think. What? Nothing. I don't remember the twins being here yet. So I think Anna and them... Or Anna died, like, very early in the game. Right. On to training, then. To the underground waterway. Underground waterway's not here, right? 
Not in this town. Maybe it is. I don't remember. <laughs> All right. I think the underground waterway is northwest of here. Palom's the only one that's going to do damage, right? This is where we first met Tella as Cecil. Cecil and Radia, right? Yep. This must be the place, the bridge where Tella and Cecil first met. What's wrong? Nah, it just struck me. I'm really wait walking down this path, aren't I? I'm gonna be a sage if I keep this up. Something about superfluous things in the middle of training. Yeah, no time for exploring. Let's just get to the end. Tink. Weak, but he's super strong at the same time. <laughs> they're so tiny, they're like pretty much neck deep in the water there. Brother, do it all the work. <laughs> Look at her little feet, just like walking. Let's get the save. attack like that probably. Yes, learn the pig. No, it's stacked twice. Well, BS. Oh, wow. Not sure why the uh, cure is out of order there. The cure is usually first. I don't know why it's like. whatever. Like, fourth, I guess. Sort 
turtle, turtle, turtle. Ah, uh, turtle, that frog. Guard fast enough to uh, withstand the uh, first attack, or like guard the first attack. <laughs> That's still uh, wigging me out here. Kira's not first. the exit already. Not just yet. What? Can't you feel it? The presence of a monster nearby. A big one. Oh, yes. Now that you mention it. Things are about to get serious. We had better get some rest once we're back above ground. Got that right. Yo. Wait, wait a minute, pal. That's too dangerous. That must at the bottom of this waterfall. Is another Kraken? It's gotta be something else, right? Isn't there any other path? Doesn't look like it. You scared? No, of course not. Let's go! <laughs> I always said the same thing. Well, let's do it. Down the waterfall, yeah. What's he in there? Oh, Ooh, gummy bears. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, boss battles, battles about to come up. I'm gonna use the uh, ether. What if I run smokes? No. So he's doing this then. A level pile them up every time you start this campaign. Oh, 
Oh, okay, we're out of here. Oh, raise only costs uh, 8 MP. itself or something. Right. Should be enough. Here it goes. My first test on the past to save to Oh no Don't let your guard down. I know I know. Cooler mammoth. Should be weak against electricity, right? Get out of fire. slow down or something. band here. Oh, what? Oh, what? Again? <laughs> I'm just gonna regenerate right when I killed it. Kind of BS. Good. I only have one ether left, which is not good either. I think I just have to attack the uh, head. Oh no. 
Okay, it's just drain. I thought it was a... It took MP for a second. Honestly, I think I should just use regular fire. We'll see. I'll do it again. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I was hoping I would like do it to herself. But she's not smart enough for that. If she doesn't die, then I'm in trouble. Yes! <laughs> I was gonna be in trouble. I have enough for one more fire cast, and that was it. Like, there's nothing else I would be able to do. And that's what happens when you don't uh, tent up. And they kind of told me to. There's a tent right now. Ah, so much for Sage Trial number one. <laughs> Black. Ouch. What was that for? You had your eyes on that monster from the start, didn't you? You knew Tell had problems with it, and you wanted to test your mental on it for yourself. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. What now? Is this really the kind of Sage... Uh, thinking a sage would have pollen? Of course. Maybe you should think a little more about how to use your magic. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Several more years later. We're adults now, right? Meadow. Yep. Poor um, pink haired girl now, somehow. I mean, I guess girls and anybody can die there, actually, so. <sighs> Where did Palm run off to this time? Our first trip to, to Mist in years, and he decides to pull a no show on me. Coming in on the airship. Mm hmm. Maybe just when it crash. Now look who's here. Oh, never mind. It's a falcon. It's a video, right? Or is it the whole crew? Ninjas and all? Nope, just Sid. By himself. Airship Engineer Baron, Sid Polandina. Poor him, that you? Yow! You were really growing up on me, girl. Sorry to keep you waiting, didn't mean to. Oh, not at all. I should be the one thanking you, preparing an airship for us and everything. Actually, you're the one helping me out here. I just need I just upgraded the Falcon, you see. It needed a test flight or two anyway. I suppose he's not coming. Hmm? No, it's nothing. Thanks again. So, we're headed for Mist. That's right. Ooh. Where did you see Rydia? She's more beautiful than you ever know, you know? I'm sure she is. It's been quite a few years since we last met. And everyone always grows up and blossoms. Ha <laughs> ha, you certainly give her a run for your money though, Porum. Oh Sid, don't flatter me like that. I don't ever lie to women, Porum. That's the ever-loving truth. <laughs> In that case, thank you very much.
Ready to go then, my dear? The Falcon's a dream to ride on now. The upgrade has really done the trick this time. Alright, let's go. Back to Mist. <laughs> Very slow trip to Mist, it seems. On board. Paolo, what are you doing here? <clears throat> Grown up pal. Black Major Mystique. My back. What? Am I supposed to report every little detail in my life to you? Can you believe this girl, Sid? Now, now, Paula. You really ought to treat the women in your life better, you know? Like I do. <laughs> I would happily if the woman in question didn't spend all day giving me lip. Dang. How long has Paula been on board this, the Falcon, Sid? He paid me a visit over in Baron, actually. What? Paula, you crossed the Devil's Road into uh, Baron? Is there something wrong with that? You can't just go through the Devil's Road without telling anyone, Palum. What if something happened to you in there? Then what? Yeah, yeah. Why, are you my mother now? Hey now, I know you're a rebellious teenager and all, Palum, but come on. It has nothing to do with that. Haha, <laughs> so I guess the two of you are really growing up, aren't you? I bet they're in like their late teens at this point. to know if he belongs to Rydia's mother. There used to be a great many summoners in the world, but I fear the art has nearly been lost now. There we are. Man, this art is like all about looking at graves. It's like, he lies a motherly summoner who protected our village. Oh. Who are you? Welcome to Mist, village of summoners. Is it going to the end, I guess? Or maybe, yeah, it's going to the end. Mm, too bad in here. Oh, what? <laughs> Where are you, Rydia? I needed to talk it to you. We used to live cowering fear of monsters, but the age is all but forgotten nowadays. Thanks to Rydia, Cecil, and that young man who sneaks in here sometimes, we couldn't feel more secure now. Young man who sneaks in here. Pal? He doesn't sneak in here, does he? Waxing him. Heard you could learn some summoning magic through acquiring certain items. Really? The question is, where's Rydia? That's all, we, that's all we came for, but she's nowhere to be found. Is she here? Yes, she is. She's chilling by the fireplace. Oh, it's Rydia's house. Rydia, how wonderful to see you again. Palum, forum. Summer Mist Rydia. She's definitely probably like late 20s now. Hey, don't forget about me, girl. You come here all the time, Sid. <laughs> I 
My goodness, you two are all grown up now, aren't you? I'm glad to see you in good health, Rydia. How are you doing, Poro? Or Palum? Uh, okay. So what brings you here today? We just thought we'd pay you a visit since it's been so long. Well, thank you very much. Take your time here. It would be lovely to have you. Listen, I know we just got here, but I got a favor to ask. Huh? What's that? I want to go to the Fey March. What? I didn't realize you were interested in the Eidolons. It's for my training. You're supposed to, you're trying to become a sage, aren't you? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say trying, but... Because he is going to become a sage. Well then, maybe a quick visit will do, you, will do good for you. Really? Are, are you sure? I haven't been back lately myself. Why don't we all go and take a look around? Ooh, does that mean Sid gets to play with us too? This is a job for the Falcon then. Palum, is this why you came to see Sid in the first place, isn't it? About time you figured out. Let's get ready to leave then. You'll be joining us, right, Palum? Or Palum? Palum? I... I'd rather she stay here and hold down the fort. I'm going to. I'll keep you out of trouble, Palum. Palum. Brother. Ready to go, Sid? You got it. It'll be a snap with my new falcon. Oof. Yay. It's because with Palum along... Or pour him along. Palum can't really like do what he wants. I'm surprised that Sid's not like in the party too. Anyways, let's go and get back to the arrow shippo. We head off. Yeah, let go. It's gonna take us like five years to get there. Sid, would you mind if we stop by the Dwarven Castle? No problem, my dear. I was just thinking about that myself. We'll see. We'll get to see Luca again, Palm. I, uh, I'm not really looking forward to that. Oh, really now? <laughs> All those empty, uh, promises. So you don't just, like, flirt with people. Because then people get, like, attached and stuff. see some King Giot, see what he's up to. So it's pretty much before any of that mayhem's been going down. Because again, Cecil's still okay since Sid's like here. Last time we saw Sid, he was like taking Sarah, or Sarah, Rosa away to safety. Sid, well, well, well. I haven't seen you long, or in a dog's age, King Giot. Seven years. How are you doing? I'm fine as a fiddle, Rydia. And who would this pair be? Are they, uh... Oh. It's good to see you again, your highness. I am Porum of Mycidia. And I'm Palum. Why? How could I have not have known? You've grown so much, both of you. I don't think... Are they here? Oh, Luca. I don't think twins were here during the actual game. They might have visited afterwards or something. Because I believe they petrified themselves. Luca. Palum, Porum, Sid too. It's great to see you, Luca. Uh, er, yo. You managed to become a stylish little lady since I last saw you. Do you like it? I was never a fan of Dwarven fashion, really. 
<laughs> it's just like that armor or whatever. Kinda looks a little Russian, to be honest. So it brings all of you here. Well, we were hoping that Rydia could take us to the Fate March. It's part of my Sage training. Is it now? Well, I appreciate you paying us a visit then. Feel free to stop by anytime you please. You are a family to every dwarf in the underworld. We better get going. What? You're leaving already? How rude of you, Palum. We just came to say hello, Boro. We'll come back soon, Luca. I'll go with you. Hey now, let's not get carried away. You don't mind, do you, Father? I want to ride on Sid's airship. Luca, I don't want you getting in their way. Ah, uh, interested in my airship, are you? I expect nothing less from the Dwarven Princess. It's so it's okay? Sure, but only as far as the passage of the Dolans, okay? Woohoo! Well, that's wonderful, Luca. I tell you, all this child talks about is you guys. And you wouldn't believe how she goes on about Pal. Hey, whoa. You don't know what you're talking about, Father. Hey, settle down. I told you, I don't want you causing any trouble. She obviously has a crush on Pal. <sighs> So I guess he was here. Um, I guess I just don't, didn't remember that. Seems so we get for sweet talking people. And people actually get captivated and stuff. All right, ready to head off? Yeah. Let's go. Let's fly. So, how have you been? Uh, okay. What are you being so si uh, shy for? Sh shut up, I am not. So you're really trying to become a sage? We're almost there. Prepare for landing, everyone. Luca, you come and help me. Okay. Now he's going to run through this place. Alright, Luca, would you mind waiting here for us with Sid? Ah, uh, how come? Don't you want me to come along, Porum? Palum? We're here for training, Luca. Though, that's not all. Oh. Righto. We'll just run some maintenance on the Falcon while you were waiting. There's a few issues with the engine I gotta do something about. Okay. We'll be back soon. See you later. Sure thing, good luck. Hang in there, Palum. Okay, okay already. Alright, just find save. Those moon mechanics pretty interesting, but it'd be much better if they had it for the original instead of waiting for here to kinda of implement it. Mainly because um Again, it's the games are very short, or the stories are very short. You don't really get to uh, experience much of it. Back attack. Let's get out of here. Not weak against ice. What? What game is this? I don't understand. So now they're just cheating. Oh, 
Oh, she had prey, actually. So that would have been fine. Uh, I can't believe they're not weak against fire. Or, uh, wizard. I can break all of them. Intellect. Intellect. No intellect. I can't believe they're not <laughs> weak against ice. It doesn't make any sense. Like, not even the normal bombs are weak against ice. It's just really, like, surprising me. That's okay. As long as you die, it's all the same. Alright, I think we're already there. What's this? The Eidolans. I can feel them. Wrong. I think she's not allowed to come actually. The training ends here. What? We've gone all the way down here and everything. Is there a problem, Rydia? The Dylans are not fond of humans going into the Fey March. Plus, once you enter the Fey March, time starts to flow erratically. You mean. If you spend too long in the Fey March, you'll wind up out of sync with the human world and everyone you know. Are you willing to risk that? I am. Thalum. If we go on just for a bit, that won't put us out. Put us too out of sync with human time, will it? I can't say. The two of you should wait here. Let me go with you. No. I'll be right back. Promise me you won't follow me inside, okay? Okay. Alright, we're right here for you. I'll be back as soon as I can. So I believe the Fey March time flows a lot faster than the human realm. Jeez, why should you bring us here to do this in the very end? Callum. Why do you think Radio brought us here in the first place? Why? Well, because... Hmm, good question, actually. Maybe she wanted to test our hearts. Maybe. Whoa! Rydia? Sorry to keep you. Keep us? It was just a few seconds. Rydia? She got booted out, I believe. It's all right. Everything's fine. But, Palo, no. I, I'm sorry. We better get back to Falcon. Sid and Luke are waiting for us. Let's teleport out. I'm not walking through this again. 
teleport to. That saves us a good 10 minutes, I'd say. 5 to 10 minutes, I should say. Burn, burn. Whoa. Healing. There you guys are. How'd it go? Great. Everyone's doing well. Get a lot of training done? Uh, yes, definitely. You bet we did. Well, guess what? I made a big decision on my own. Huh? Luca's one talented girl she is. She diagnosed an engine problem that not even I could figure out. I gotta hand it to the dwarves. The way they approach technology is like nothing I've seen before. So we talked for a while. We decided that I'm going to be Sid's apprentice. Really? That's great, Luca. Will King Gyot let you? Way to spoil the mood, Paolo. So I'm just saying. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. Take up your position, Luca. Aye aye. Those us. You know, I kind of wish they uh, organized it chronologically, because I think the way the story progressed, this sh probably should have been the first uh, one. But here we are, present day. Who knows? Uh, they probably actually put in the right order, because it's just backstory, and plus, now that everything has gone to shit, Porum is now being uh, told to go. somewhere else. Pal, um, I guess you arrived in Troy by now. Yeah. And here I am, stuck in my city all by myself. Are you there, Porum? It's the Elder. His big old beard. How are you feeling, Elder? Oh, no worries. I feel fine today. That's wonderful. What bothers you, my child? Nothing. You wanted to travel to Troya instead of Palom, am I right? I don't know anymore. Are you worried about Palom? Well... You want to go off on your own, do you not? Just like Palom? Elder? Palom is a rare talent. There's little denying that. But he is still young. That's why I sent him on this business. There's much for Palom to learn through teaching others. I see. You're worried about. Uh, you're worried, aren't you? Worried that Palom will leave you behind someday? I mean, he kinda already did. Perhaps. You two have been together your entire lives, as siblings, as friends, and as rivals. But more importantly, when you look at each other, you see yourselves. Yes, you are right. I'm sure you will find your own path to walk sooner or later, Palom. The best thing to do now is to think about what that path might be. Yes, Elder. There's no need to rush yourself. Ah... What is it? <laughs> the dragon is crying. What? Dragon small? You hit me with that. Nope. That's what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, the lunar ship kind of just up and left. Though, I'm sure, if I remember correctly, it is going to the moon. Though I wonder if they notice that the double moon has appeared. But, uh, it's actually being summoned, I'm pretty sure, to the moon. Because of a certain somebody, which we'll get to in, in the future. But, the lunar whale! It's up and went. 
Alright, I have called all of you here to discuss a dire matter. The lunar well has risen, sitting off in the direction of the moon. With Pal Mapset, I would like to call upon the powers of the Dragoon. The Dragoon? You mean Cain? The one and only. If the rumors are to be believed, we can find him on Mount Ordeals. But... But what? I heard that Cain has severed all ties with Baron. Elder, this is certainly a serious matter that requires swift response. But surely Masidia's army of mages would be sufficient for its protection. Even if those dreadful events of the past were to visit us again? Oh yeah, <laughs> this scene. We just saw it. The ninja. Black magic is not a panacea for all our problems. Have you forgotten what the Elder taught us? But... How else should we respond to the moon's return? Elder. I will travel to Mount Ordeals at once. But don't worry, I won't do anything rash. Very well. Be careful out there. Whatever you do, remember to stay out of harm's way. Yes, Elder. Listen, everyone, we can't afford to hurry ourselves into an ill-advised plan of action. Yes, Elder. I want you two to go with Porum. Yay. Yes, Elder. I mean, because Porum was the only white mage, so she would have gotten, like, rocked by herself out there. Let's just go. It's funny, that seems to be a motif. Like, every time we go to the Mount Ordeals, we always take the black and white mage. Honestly, I feel like we just keep teleporting out of battle if we uh, encounter something, but. If our black mage is strong enough, we can just AoE something. Holy. We have banned. Nope. We have banned. Before this was a oh shit, pretty much a good way of uh oh wow she prays for a lot of uh, healing. experience for fighting that specific uh, enemy mob but not this time I have to encounter one more enemy will we get there no cool 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 could you right, let's go ahead and end this tale here
For some reason, I don't heal uh, mana using prayer. That's pretty sad. That's pretty much what uh, kept me going last year. Final Fantasy IV, base game. I might just have to run away from all these enemies. They're annoying to face. I think I just ran away from all these. Out of here. Cycle Spiral. Oh yeah, interesting. Um, Scale Ripper. Interesting enough, um, back in the Edges campaign, one of the ninjas is tailing Porum here, but it didn't show that she was actually being accompanied by Black and White Mage, which I thought was interesting. Up here, that oh, was, yeah, it was up here. The problem with back, nah, that was towards the end of the dungeon that she did that. Oh, oh we out of here. Either run away or we can teleport away, whichever happens first. Save again. I guess it's kind of nice that uh, you don't have to really fight a hard boss. I might be mistaken. The fire skip against all y'all. intellect. That's alright. Oh yeah, black magic is on the scene. Oh, oh, ah. I really don't want to fight this. <laughs> this group kind of sucks. Maybe because again, that evil spirit in the back. It's, uh, it absorbs fire. So this fear is gonna kill those two, but then the back one is gonna stay alive. Too. There's not much I can do either. Oh jeez! So it is weak against ice. That's nice. Go 
down. What's that? I don't feel anything. Ah. Elevator, right? Oh, I can hear something. It's fading fast, like it could disappear at any moment. It's a voice. What I feel I've known before. Yeah, what do you... Yes. Mirror chamber. What? Mm, that's where, uh... Sissel the Dark Knight became paladin. Where are we? What a mess. Wait. Could this be the place where King Cecil of Baron became a paladin? And the place where Sage Tella learned the forbidden meteor magic as well? Oh, gentle white mage. <laughs> that chord, though, makes it sound like Sephiroth is running amok. I'm about to fade. But my spirit will never be extinguished. My sons have always believed in you, and now. voice. Sis's father. And father to all who study magic. Well, that's it. Nothing happens. Uh, I'm gonna walk away a little bit. Okay. So I was about to teleport. <laughs> But we're supposed to be here to look for Kane, though, so it would be stupid if I just teleported it out. Oh no! Oh no! Ouch. 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 Look at all of them. We're hopelessly outnumbered. Dragoon time! What? <laughs> what the hell is that? Cain! What? The Dragoon from Baron, the one that Cecil and his group trusted. Looks pretty uh, sinister, actually. Like, Soul Edge. Former Dragoon Commander Baron, Cain Highwind. Have I seen you before? I am Porum, White Mage of Mysidia. A White Mage? Do you remember me? I came here to find you by order of our elder. To find me, what for? I see. At this rate, Baron could be in danger soon as well. But tell me, what reason do I have to help you? What? Baron ceased to be part of my life a very long time ago. This, that can't be true. Pardon? You're lying. You're lying to me and to yourself. Am I wrong? No, then please. Let's go, Baron awaits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm teleporting out. Full chisel. Oh, they won't let me. Fuck, how to save. And run out. Oh, 25. I feel like it should have been a higher level. I guess we had to fight a boss before we can teleport out.
boss time. I think. Oh, there's something worse than boss time. What? Palum. Oh, oh yeah. Palum got iced. We need to go. Palum got iced by that, uh, I know I heard his voice. Iced by that mysterious girl. Question is, are we going back to Mesidia? Or are we going back to Baron? I'm not sure yet. It's interesting how Final Fantasy IV started. You just start off as. Oh, dang. Um, you know, Kane and Cecil, mainly Cecil, went to take the crystal from Mysidia and killed anybody that was standing in his way, even though they didn't really stand in his way. It's kind of strange, but. He did that, he did dark deeds, and so. He, uh. I was troubled by him doing that, and so uh, he decided to give up the Dark Blade and become a Paladin, which was, of course, probably one of the biggest transformations in any Final Fantasy game, I believe, from dark to light. I don't think any other FF did that, at least not to my knowledge. Because I might be wrong, but... Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on? What? No! Kane. We're too late. We have to find the Elder quickly. Uh, do we just fight all these monsters? It's a Chimera. Frost Blast. Oh, it's right heal, huh? Oh no! It's full of BS. The ice uh, heals him. I think all the elements heal him, actually, now that I think about it. Not again! Ah. That's okay. There's the cane, keep wailing on him. So he's a frost blast with Chia. Chia! I believe it uh, absorbs everything. Oh, but it's dead too. Yay. You know, she didn't really do anything. She's asleep. I gotta tackle somebody and put him to sleep. Crap. Nice. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Elder. Hall of Prayer. Hold on, hang in there. For um, the the elder. Come in. Take the crystal. Nope, the crystal's still there. For some reason. Prayer dice. Oh no, it's one of these things. Blood eye. Uh, I think I just auto attack it, right? Too bad I don't have sap. Ouch. Berserk cane, actually. Ouch. My gaze on you, too. Oh, shit. It's okay. Kane's gonna go whoop some at. Uh, what? Can't berserk him. That uh, BS is this. <laughs> oh, confusion. Don't kill me, bro. I said, don't kill me, bro. Bro. Alright, whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Let's slow this guy. Sorry, I have to oh, miss anyways. Just die. Not oh, hit yourself. Oh, it is defeated. Elder? Elder! 
Oh, that's why he's in bed now. Porum, you've returned safely. Elder. Monsters, they appeared from the Devil's Road. The Baron's already overrun. I fear it is already too late. No, it can't be. Where's Kane? Over here. <laughs> we stand below the Twin Moons once more. As we speak, your homeland of Baron has fallen into the hands of monsters. And next, Mycidia. They're after the crystals. So it appears. Who could be sending them here? I cannot say. I need to see Baron for myself. Elder, I too will go to Baron. Don't. Cain. Where are you going? Baron is my homeland. I might just feel broken as if we were nothing. What on earth are we dealing with? You don't need to worry about me, poor up. Just, just promise me you won't do anything rash. Don't worry, I'll give the elder the best care there is. It's gonna be like Kuruga. The region. Ah. The white mage. Who are you? Oh, it's her. Even if I told you, you wouldn't comprehend it. You're the one who unsealed the Devil's Road, aren't you? Yes, to retrieve the crystal. Retrieve? Yes. Hold it, you. It's the Elder. <laughs> that beard, though. Elder. Those who lust for power must never lay hands on the crystal. Never again. I don't need your permission. Oh, she is. What can the elder do? I have no idea. We're about to find out. He should be a sage, right? So he should be able to do flare and stuff. I wonder if it's descriptive. I mean, it's always descriptive. Let's slow her down. Whoa. Oh, no shit, bro. You have like no offensive magic, bro. What we gonna do? What we gonna do, huh? It's auto attack? I'm confused. Shit. I can't do nothing. Alright. Let's finish us off. Ramu, why are you doing this? No. Elder. Just. No. It's <laughs> dead. Wait, but she's still here. How meaningless. You. Wait. Who's Kane? Oh, I understand now. You took the crystal. Kane. Is this what you're looking for? This is it. The real thing. It's yours. Wait, Kane. A wise choice. 
On one condition, though. What? I'll give it to you only after I finish what I set out to do. And what is that? An audience with the King of Baron. For what purpose? To take his life. I will kill Cecil with my own hands. <laughs> oh, poor. And my girlishly weird voice acting. Understood. Bring the crystal with you. Out of here. Out of here, part two. He's not even gonna take the devil's sword, he's just gonna jump all the way there. Jump across all the waters. Just jump. Elder. Pallum. Pallum. Right. Oh, I was going to fade away to the, uh, not necessarily title screen, but just the end of the tail. It might still. Yep, that's it. It was an interesting story. It like went through all this big timeline just to end the way it did, but it is what it is. <laughs>